Hello there, I'm going to show you a small video of the Smart PSS Professional Surveillance System dedicated to the HDCVI systems. Okay, this will be a program that you'll be using on your computer uh, to be viewing the remote access. Okay, I'm just going to touch the, the simple basic. Uh, as you can see here on this image, you have uh, the basic advanced and settings, but I'm just going to show you how to set up a system. So you could see it uh, from remote and do the playback and save it into a disk or um, or, a, or a thumb drive, okay? So pretty much what you're going to do is underneath, all the way to the bottom, it says devices. What you're going to do here, press on that. And um, I have nothing here, but then I have already a system on the network. So what I had to do is just refresh. And as you could see, it gave it to me. So I had to click on it and add it. Once it, it gets added, it's going to throw it on the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, it will come up online just in a few seconds. That's one way. But then another way to do it is that uh, that you could add it manually. So click, look, as you can see, it came up online. But you could add it manually. You could just click on that. Um, let's put uh, HDCVI. Um, the register mode, you have two options. Either IP, domain, oh, actually three options. IP, domain, or or P2P, okay, P2P functions, you can put the serial in there without any port forwarding and it will work in this as well. In this case, I want to use the IP address uh, and the username and password. Once it gets entered in there, all I get is the get info. It will give it to me right here. Obviously, I'm not going to save it because I already have it over here. That's just in case it doesn't give it to you, okay? So now that I have it there, I want to see it live, okay? So I go back into home page, this button right here. Press on the live view on the basic. And that will give me the four grid, okay? On the right hand side, you click on the plus sign. You click on the plus sign again, and it will give you the, the all the cameras for that certain IP address. What you have to do is right click, mainstream, okay? Once you click on the mainstream, it will give you the view. But then you want to see more cameras. You could go all the way in the bottom and click on the on the uh, grid. Right click again to the to the to the IP mainstream will give you all the cameras. The nice thing about this program is that you could have three systems within the same network or any other place, and you could add it in here as well and have all the views from all those three systems. Okay. So now what I want to do, I want to show you the the playback. I click on the home page, go back into the basic, and click on the playback. Uh, nice thing is that you're going to have both uh, both of the tabs in here. You can switch from live view to playback. So in this case, on you, since it's already there, I just right click and find the IP address. And the IP address will give me all the cameras. In this case, I don't have a, uh, a certain channel that I want to see or look for certain um, footage. I'm just going to click on the first camera and do a search on it, okay? Once it, did, it does a search, it's going to give me the, the recording for that channel. If I click on it, it will give me the image, okay? But then how about if I want to record something that it just happened in there? What I'll do is, I use, let's say something happened at 8, I click on the 8 and click on the, um, on the scissor. And then I just want 8.30, 30 minutes, something happened, right? I cut it again and it will give you this export setup. You will have the browse where to save it. You could save it into a thumb drive, into your computer, any anywhere you like. And then the export format, uh, you will have the original format, MBI, or ABI, and and obviously this program over here, Sport Smart Player, okay, to be able to see it. And it will give you the space. Once you press OK, it will start backing it up. But we can cancel on this and uh, Go back to homepage and pretty much it. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.